everybody, this is Randall from Floribama Homesteader and my wife, the camera lady, Michelle. What we're going to show you today is our intermittent mist system. If you look up here on the wall, I have our mist controller mounted and we're only really going to show you this real quick. This is an 8056 ACS 6S. This is the controller that we selected to do our intermittent mist propagation system simply because we can trigger this thing to, uh, to do a mist. Um, every 10 minutes for 10 seconds long and this is one of the only controllers that'll do that there are a few others on the market but they're they're not they're not easy to find so this is the one we chose and um, now I'll tell you what let's go on outside and I'll show you the mist bed and how we're set up out there okay we're out here at our mist bed now basically this mist bed is a temporary setup we have some one by six treated pine that has um, plastic all in the bottom of it so that we don't have the sand just flowing out everywhere. And we're able to take this up whenever we're ready. And uh, we're done with it. And we can just scoop this out, wrap the plastic up, and it'll be right back to where it was before we put this together. What we're looking at is a mist irrigation prop propagating system for uh, uh, propagating our mulberry cu cuttings primarily. And I may put some grapevine cuttings in here and maybe even some gardenias and uh, some other things. But what you see in here also is some of our figs from our, um, our desirable fig varieties that we have here in the back. And then on the front right here, we have some of our brown turkey figs that are from my grandmother's old tree. Now what, what we're planning on doing with those is we're going to use these as our root stock to graft on our desirable um, varieties because brown turkey has such a strong root system and pushes a lot of growth that we've decided that we're going to grow these out and we're going to graft to these. But what you see over here is we have some uh, Illinois Everbearing mulberry cuttings that are stuck in this row and then this row right here is our Shangri-La. And how uh, mist irrigation works is this thing will come on and I'll show you the mechanism in the back but you saw our mist controller in there the mist controller is controlling our valve and then we have a piece of irrigation tube that comes up here and I just put this uh, piece of flexible uh, mist mist nozzle on here now what do, you, what do you see going on here is this is spraying a fine mist of water over these leaves. And what that causes is the water to be absorbed up through the sand and pulled up through the stem of the plant as the water that is on the leaves evaporates off. It causes a capillary action to uh, pull that water up through the, uh, the stem. And that gives these uh, stems plenty of time to set its roots. If I pull this one up, I, I, uh, I set these cuttings last week. And you see that there's little uh, lectal looking dots on there. Now what you'll see is we come back in a week or two, you'll see little hair roots start to develop. And so that's what we're doing here. We're keeping some, some wet sand. But the reason we're using sand is sand doesn't hold the water. It allows the water to spray on the top go through the, through the sand and right on out the bottom. I have holes cut in the bottom so that it drains out and it doesn't hold water. But there's no organic matter in the bottom of this sand. Organic matter um, creates a habitat for funguses. And that's, that's the main reason we decided to use the sand is um, it, it's less of a chance of bacterial growth and funguses in here. So um, let's go on around and I'll show you the controller about all right guys now before I go any further if you're finding any value of any of any of this information that I'm telling you please go on our YouTube channel and subscribe and set your bell notifications and give us a like that helps us grow the channel so that we can continue to bring you some uh, valuable information if you're finding this uh, this interesting I'd like to be able to follow along as we do future projects all right so what we have here, this is our well system, our well pump right out of the ground. I have two of these valves set up to irrigate our pecan orchard. This third valve I wasn't using. 
So I have these wires that go back into our controller in the shop in there, and it controls this valve. And like I was telling you, is that we use this valve to cycle every 10 minutes, it's gonna cause that uh, sprayer to spray for 10 seconds long. And uh, so that's the final component, is you need the mist controller, one that will do 10 minutes and uh, for 10 seconds long. You need a valve controller, and then you need the, the pipe. Now also on this pipe, we have a pressure reducer, and that keeps from blowing the ends of the, the, uh, the mist nozzles off, because there's a lot of pressure coming through this. Uh, this is one inch pipe on this side, and so we don't want to blow those, uh, those tubes and fittings out over there, so we put a pressure reducer on that, just to kind of notch that down a little bit. But, all right, well, if you have any questions, you can leave us a comment, uh, send us an email, and I'll try to do my best to, an to answer them. If you want to know how to set the controller up to do the intermittent mist, there are already videos on, the, uh, on YouTube that will show you how to do that in detail. If you really want to know and you can't find those videos, maybe I can take the time and I can go through it and, um, and show you those steps. It's kind of cumbersome. I had to watch the video and do it step by step because it's not really a user-friendly thing to uh, try to figure out. So that's why I say reference back to those videos. All right, thanks for watching.